Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how we can easily implement the secant method into Python. As we went through in a previous video, the secant method is an open root finding method for nonlinear functions, meaning that we pick two initial x values and then iteratively solve for a root from those points. I will leave a link to the video on the theory and procedure for the secant method in the description down below. All right, so let's get right into the coding. Let's begin by defining a new function called secant method. By defining a function like this, we can easily recall this function multiple times should we need this later in our code. And we will talk about this a bit more after the code is completed. We also need our function to ask our user for a few parameters that they'll need to fill out before using this function. So we'll need the user to enter the function that we want to solve for the roots of, and the user will enter this as a string. Then we need guesses around where we suspect that our root will be. Lastly, we need to know how many iterations of the secant method that the user wants to perform. And this is all we need to do to initialize our function. Now, we need a way of converting our user's string into a mathematical expression. We can do this in the following way. And if you want to know more about what I'm doing here, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now that all of that is completed, we can begin our actual loop which is the main part of the secant method. I'm going to use a for loop here, so we'll just say for intercept in range one to n, this is saying that we will repeat this loop n minus one times. We then need to evaluate our two initial x guesses, and this can be done like so. Then we need to implement the formula that we found in the secant method theory video for finding our next iteration of x's value. Just be cautious for all of the parentheses here. Lastly, we just need to replace the values of x1 with our new x values, which is xi here. And then we also need to replace our second last x value, which is x0 here with x1. Lastly, let's just add in a print statement that tells the user what the root was after their desired number of iterations. This can be done through a simple f string like so. Finally, all we need to do is test that our code actually works and that there are no errors. So in the last few videos, we have been using the function x squared minus three with the bounds of one and three. So let's just repeat that and use five iterations. We should expect an answer here of around 1.73. And you can see that when I run this function, we will return that value, which means that we now have a working secant method function in Python. I hope this video helped your understanding of how to implement the secant method into Python. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.